Well, welcome to the Post Sunday app. We have been uh, laughing hysterically here before we started filming. No, I, so. I've been very serious, and I've thought your behavior a little unprofessional. Oh, well, <laughs> but it has been fun. Taken. It has, yeah. No, it's been a lot of fun. Now we now uh, we need to stop having fun. And that's right. That's right. Well, it is, got? it is great to be on the Post Sunday app again. We're getting it getting is. back in the groove after taking a break during uh, your sabbatical time. Yeah. Now I was not there yesterday. I was it seemed out a little of town. Empty. In the uh, auditorium without you. Yeah, the, the missing, family. missing those Davidson people. Did you guys have a good weekend? Uh, it was good. It was good. Some good family time and, Excellent. and worship time. So, um, so yeah, I would love to be filled in here. Tell me, tell me where you went with the sermon. Well, we were in Colossians okay. 1 again, yeah. and we talked a little bit about things that uh, I want to be true of my ministry. Mm-hmm. And I mentioned this last week, and I'd be curious your thoughts here too. So I, did, I don't want this sermon series just to be about thoughts Daniel has. Okay. Um, I, I hope they're applicable to people where they are in ministry to you. But this, it's a, it's a very personal section that Paul has here. He talks about how he wants, there's kind of three things I said I want to be true of my ministry. One, this was last week, I want to suffer for you. From Paul says, I rejoice in my suffering for right. your sake. And then here in verses 25 through 29, it's about his, his task of ministry to, to proclaim Jesus Christ. And I talked about, talked about how I want to proclaim the beauty of Jesus Christ. And really, I mentioned there's a lot of things I could preach on. You know, I could preach legalism. I could preach moralism. I could preach Danielism, which, mm-hmm. um, you know. But uh, none of those things are beautiful. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And Jesus Christ is beautiful, and that's who I want to proclaim. So that was yeah. my ministry. But I, I kind of, and I didn't spend as much time on this as I would have liked, but I also talked about how it's not just true for the preaching ministry, but I want all the ministries at our church, I want everyone's ministry to be identified by proclaiming Christ's beauty. Not saying this is how you have, you, know, you have to behave this moralistic way or this legalistic way, but here's Jesus, isn't he beautiful? Let's follow him together. So without any, we haven't talked about this, but how do, how do you think other ministries proclaim the beauty of Christ? Or how can we effectively mm-hmm. proclaim the beauty of Christ in other ministries? Yeah, I heard someone describe a friend of theirs once as if you poke him scripture runs out mm. and I, um, so that's kind of the Ill, what came to my mind as you're saying that that if if you poke our ministries does the beauty of Christ mm. run yeah. out of run yeah. out of them is that a fair yeah. no, that's illustration great. that's great yeah so I you know I, I think about our nursery and how there's a desire for those kids to be prayed over while they're there in the yeah. nursery that it's not just Oh, I gotta watch these kids do yeah. my time, but the yeah. real love for for Christ and and that uh, I think if you poked our nursery workers, Christ comes yeah. out. Yeah. Um, I think you see Christ in, in our our compassion ministry. I mean, there's so many ministries yeah. I can mention. Yeah, I don't want to you know leave one out. Yeah. Um, but seeing people's love for God, love for the Scripture that points them towards Christ. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty. Um, boy, just processing that even right now. It just makes me love love the Lord and love my church more. Yeah. Just thinking about how many ministries I can name right now that that's true. That's true. Not for the glory of Bethany Community Church, exactly. but for the glory of God. Yeah. 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 Very sweet. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's what, that's mm-hmm. what I want to be true. I want my ministry to be eternal and to have long lasting impact. And the way that's going to happen is if the beauty of Christ is proclaimed through the teaching of His Word. Yeah. You know, um, let me transition us yeah. here. I want to touch on this. That. Um, because I, I, I believe I saw the beauty of Christ in something you wrote recently. Okay. Um, yeah. Something you wrote on Facebook related to the Supreme Court uh, decision. Yeah. Um, I was uh, very humbled by your writing in that, uh, you know, so many emotions going yeah. through me as yeah. I, you know, am processing that decision and, and seeing the humility in which you wrote that, that I, I believe that if, if someone maybe who was diametrically opposed to my view, mm read what you wrote that there would not be their temptation then to comment something scathing back that you you turned you turned me to look reflective in my own heart yeah in the midst of that so i don't know if you want to add more to that but i really am very grateful for that That that's that's um that's that's very humbling thank you um you know i was i was impressed because a lot of times you know if, if i put a picture of my uh, kids on Facebook, mm-hmm. I'm going to get a bunch of likes mm-hmm. because my They're kids are so yeah, darn stop. good looking. Um, <laughs> but if I put something on there about, um, hey, uh, this 
this um, bill is before Congress and affects adoptive families, be sure to, you know, no one will say anything. Or if I mention uh, abortion or adoption, mm. it, it just gets a lot less like. So yeah. I've yeah. never had a, a post um, shared so many times. I, I saw right. this morning like 40 something people have, have not just liked it, but they've shared it, which it's kind of a risky thing to do in our in our current environment. Mm-hmm. To say anything negative at all about about mm-hmm. the Supreme mm-hmm. Court's decision is is a very brave thing to do, I think, for people who are in the, the workplace. And uh, one of the, I saw that someone had commented on, and I, I don't remember where I saw this, but someone had said, um, I, I disagree with, with your pastor, but I appreciate his kind tone. Mm-hmm. And I thought, well, that's, that's um, that's great. You know, it wasn't mm-hmm. really written for people who disagree with us. It was written for those of us who uh, who believe in the, the a biblical definition of what marriage is, and who believe that uh, we have a responsibility to to proclaim that truth in a beautiful way. But also, um, I, I wrestled with how to respond to it. And as we read Colossians three as, as a family that night, we're reading uh, through the mm-hmm. Bible and reading in Colossians and. You come to, to verse 5, put to death, therefore, what's earthly in you, sexual immorality, impurity, passion, evil desires, and covetousness, which is idolatry. I thought, you know what? Um, we're guilty of idolatry here. Uh, not just because people who I think are practicing this lifestyle are, are pursuing self-pleasure as opposed to what God has, has called them to, but every single one of us in this culture is guilty to some degree of sexual idolatry, of saying, here's what I believe uh, my sexuality should look like, how mm. it should express itself, what I want, and that's what I'm going to pursue instead of what God has called me to. God mm. has called all of us to worship Him with our sexuality, and all of us fail. This mm. is we fail in every area of life. Mm. And that's that's what I hope the church really takes the time to do right now, is to say, you know what? I need to repent of of idolatry in all areas of life. Here's a great example of how I need to re- mm. repent of, of sexual idolatry. Yeah, yeah. I would say too, just to those who are viewing the video, if you're wondering, okay, hey, where, where do I start? What's my what's a good first step for me and how I approach mm. this decision with with uh, friends, with coworkers, with uh, my kids? That I, I think Daniel's Facebook post would be a great place to start, mm. just to kind of level the playing field, our own hearts first. Mm. And you know, cause I, even um, one of my children who's in a, a kind of a text group, yeah. you know, this came up in a middle school text message group it, forum. It, it's a, and they were talking about it you know, very blatantly and openly, and so we, we, we have to shepherd our our kids through this. And we do. We're going a little bit long here, so, but I think it's okay. Yeah. Um, my daughter's in that same yep. text group message, and it was astonishing the, uh, the, the predominant idea that, hey, it's, it's a wrong thing to do to express an opinion on a moral issue. Like mm-hmm. that's wrong to do mm-hmm. because we mm-hmm. can't tell other people what, what's right or wrong. Yeah. Even beyond this issue, just that whole concept that expressing a moral opinion is an offensive thing to do was very, mm-hmm. very striking to yeah. me. Yeah, and as uh, I was processing it, processing it with, with my son, uh, he, yeah, Dad, what do, I, what do I do here? Because yeah. he felt this, this incumbent desire to say something, yeah. you know? And I said, well, we don't want to make this more complicated than it is. Right. Are some things always right and wrong? Yeah. That's your first question yeah. to the group. Where's that come from? And if it comes from some mm-hmm. standard, then we fail that standard, and therefore we yeah. need Jesus. That's good. I said we're not going to argue on this for the sake of argument. You know, yeah. let's let's point this towards Christ and lead it towards Jesus. Christ. Yeah. 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 So. That's good. Well, good. So parents need to have those conversations with their kids. Yeah, too. There's, yeah. And we, we talked about the Supreme Court decision with all our kids because this is the world they're living in. They need yeah. to be aware, hey, this is what our society says is right, and we need to think right. about what God's called us to. So yeah. Yeah. Good. God's put us in some good places in yeah. His glory. Yeah, that's right. Well, thanks. Yeah, thank you, Thank, you. thanks for tuning in to the Post Sunday app. Have a great rest of your day.